Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan again. This is the fifth and final video I'm gonna make for BME 261 on how to use Project Libre for project planning. Uh, so we've got most of the way there. Uh, um, I, you guys have seen some of my frustrations as we've gone, um, but now I kinda wanna finish up uh, and make this really a workable project. We still got some um, mostly done, but still some things that just aren't quite right, right? Like some of these things like uh, the predecessors aren't working, like, I don't know why it's decided everything's going to end on 1210 rather than give me all the way to my due date at 1218. So you guys may experience that stuff too, but I'm going to try to work through it and we'll try to get a working uh, project. First, I'm going to work on our grading tasks and make sure I can get those workable, right? Because right now, you see, I have to do all this work uh, all at the same time, which is 75% of my day, which is not going to work. And you see that we're way out of whack where we have to start grading before I even give the exam if we're going to make this work. Right, so that's not really a great condition. Um, one of the first problems is, I don't know why it has me finishing up on 12.9. So I'm gonna go uh, first into the project information. And I don't, like it changed my finish date arbitrarily for me. Uh, I don't know why. I wanna change that back to 12.18, which is what it should have been in the first place. Okay, so that helps us out some. Um, and then the other thing we wanna talk about is okay, I don't have this much time, right? If I have 25% of my time grading exams, 25% grading the uh, reflection essays, and 25% grading the bioethics reflection, that's 75% of my time. But I probably got BME 303L reflection essays, 214L reflection essays, a 214L machine learning project, um, probably some recommendation letters to write, some meetings to go to. So I don't have that much time to spend on just grading, right? So one solution is to just say, okay, well, fine, I'm not gonna work eight hours a day, I'm gonna work 16 hours a day. Okay, but that is not what I would recommend for me or for you or for anybody else, right? We're doing this planning so that we can avoid a mental breakdown at the end of the semester, okay? Another option was maybe spread out uh, some of the uh, work amongst other members of my team, but you can see I already have my TAs scheduled for 50% uh, work, which is their max, so I don't really have that. Um, so I recognize I have to move some things around uh, to make this work. Okay, so one easy thing we can do is we can make sure we use the predecessors, right? And so some of these things, although they aren't technically required to use predecessors, I can just set them up that way so that I'm not doing things simultaneously, right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and you know make the bioethics reflection. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna start working on that until I have finish grading the reflection essays, right? And so that moves that. Uh, same thing, I'm not gonna start grading my reflection essays until I have finished grading the exams, right? So again, now at least it doesn't have me working on three things at the same time. I'm only working 25% of the time on any given day on grading. So that is a step in the right direction. Okay, so now my only problem left here is that uh, my, if I spend 32 hours grading exams, I have proven to myself that I can't do this at 25% um, time over this time, right? Because I would have to start grading exams before I gave the exam. So that's not really an option, okay? And now what, right? And that's, that's why this project planning is so useful. It lets us see where our pain points are and where we really need to focus on getting help. Okay, so I could maybe have the TAs help grade some exams um, I usually don't do that though. I usually prefer um, just me grading them all so it's very consistent. I have a couple solutions. One of them is when I realize it's time to grade BME 245L exams, I just have to commit more of my time to that, right? So I, maybe I need to commit 50% of my time to that. Okay, so I'll see if I can fix some of those things. I'll start by going to the resources on here and instead of 25%, I'll go ahead and make it 50%. Okay, one other thing I can do is I noticed that I right now have grade exams um, happening after the team exam um, because my team exam is the predecessor to the grade exams. But really what this is telling me is I can't wait that long. I need to start grading exams as soon as the individual exams get done. So I'm gonna have to change my predecessor from team exam on line 25 to individual exam on line 24. Right, and that, now makes this work where I can have that 
Monday evening, uh, you know, where I will have to start grading. And so, again, that's what planning does for us. It helps us understand what we're going to have to do, when we're going to have to do it to get the project done on time. Okay, the other parts of this project plan that were very overlapped were the cell culture tasks, right? I have a lot going on simultaneously. Um, I do have a lot of successor tasks in here, um, but there are still places where I'm getting overscheduled, right? Especially with this like canvas and syllabus uh, parts. So maybe uh, I can again add some predecessors where I don't really need them, but they help me plan for when I actually need to be doing the work. And so I can see some parallel things I can fix. Right. For one, I can just make order supplies as a predecessor for cleaning and start the incubators. Right. So th these things have to happen over here. So I'm going to go to clean and start the incubators and say I need to order supplies before that. OK, so you see that did move my take inventory order supplies. But then there's this weird gap to the um, to the delivery, which is not going to happen. As soon as I order, like that's when my 10 day delivery is going to show up. So I can go into the delivery um, and change this, right? Because if I look at the advanced, it's saying it schedule as late as possible. But really, I want to schedule, make that happen as soon as possible. OK, so that one's OK that it's being delivered at the same time I'm doing these other tasks because it's just some delivery person. It's not me. OK, the other ones that I have to fix are set up canvas and uh, make syllabus. And so these these are kind of interesting, actually, right? Because the only days I'm actually working are the ones I have assigned to Dan. So I actually have a lot of time where um, the cells are growing that I could do stuff. So this is one of those things that um, you could really think about how you want to schedule this out. Maybe I could break up the setup canvas task into like different tasks and then assign them manually by putting them at the same date as when cells are growing. That's an option, right? Another option is just say, hey, before I do any of this uh, inventory or ordering, I want to make sure I have my canvas set up. OK, um, and so that's the easiest thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and say that set up canvas. Uh, I want to happen before the inventory. So I'm going to say inventory has to have a predecessor of 16. Right. So that that sets me up with set up canvas right through here. OK, and then we'll go ahead and do the syllabus. So again, this is something that I could do um, later um, and do it while cells are growing out. So maybe I want to fix it to actually do it when cells are growing out. OK. So in order to do that, I'm just going to kind of manually pick a time. Let's say I want to work on the syllabus when the cells are growing out here. Right. So I look at the cells growing out on line 10. That's happening uh, 812 to 816. Right. So I'm going to go to my make syllabus. And as soon as it, it says as late as possible, right, I'm going to just say must start on. And again, I'll put my date of 812 when those cells are growing out. OK, once I did that, it moved to make syllabus to here. 
And now I can look through all the tasks and I recognize, okay, I no longer am double booked for anything. So now I can continue to work on planning for BME 245L, 25% of my time. And that leaves me time to plan for my other classes, to teach my summer class, right? So we're in pretty good shape as far as this project plan. Again, this is really helpful because I look at this and it tells me that, hey, I need to start, if I wanna follow the schedule, I need to start um, setting up Canvas on July 10th, which is pretty close to now actually. So that's something I need to get on at two hours a day if I wanna have it done in time. You know, I talked about the other thing we could do is maybe split some of this up and then have it uh, scheduled when the cells are growing out. So that's, an, that's a possibility too, but I'm not gonna uh, work on that now. Uh, so if you made it this far, congratulations. Um, uh, you can see how I went through all the time and frustration of planning to get ready for BME 245L. There's a lot more you can do project, do in project, right? Including like tracking of the project as you go along. You should try to uh, continue to use and learn about project as much as you can throughout this semester, right? Take it as an opportunity to learn. You'll have to do some sort of planning for senior design. And so this would make a great tool for that. And almost all companies are gonna use Microsoft Project to do their uh, project management. So it's a really important tool that you continue to have interface with as an engineer.